love meatballs. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed. Welcome back to Craving Food Adventures. Today on our very easy meal prep, I'm gonna show you how to make a batch of meatballs and you can have this in your freezer on hand to make a variety of dishes. Before I show you how to make these meatballs really, really simply, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I upload new videos every week. Also make sure to ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon. That will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. Most of the work here is going to be done by my food processor. I'm going to add in half an onion. This is roughly going to yield about one cup. And I'm also going to add four to six cloves of garlic. I'm just going to give this a quick process. Next, I'm going to add two pounds of ground beef. This is roughly about a kilo. And of course, you can use lamb or pork as well. Scrape all of this in. Two pounds is the minimum amount I prefer as my food processor can only hold that quantity. Usually, if I want to make a bigger batch, I'll just repeat the process. I'm going to add about two to three teaspoons of salt, one whole egg, two teaspoons each of Cuban powder and chili powder. You can also use paprika. The flavors I'm using are fairly generic and they can be used for anything, but you can customize these meatballs any way you wish. Now it's time for my food processor to work its magic. I'm just gonna give this a quick scrape down and let's give it another whiz. Scrape all of the mixture into a plate or platter and I'm going to stick this in my fridge for a few hours if I have the time or for about half an hour in the freezer. The blades from the fruit processor release heat and the fat starts to make the meatball mixture soft and gummy. Ideally, you want to work with this when it's nice and chilled. I'm going to cover this with some cling film and allow it to chill. Once your meatballs are nice and cool, it's time to semi-cook them to prep them for their life in the freezer. I'm heating up one liter of veggie stock. I like to add a little bit of extra flavor, but you could also use regular water. Now watch carefully. This will change your life. You'll wonder why you spend hours before rolling meatballs. Firstly, your hands need to be wet. Grab a fistful of meat in one hand and push the mixture out through the thumb and the index finger area. With your other hand, grab the meatball as it comes out formed and drop it into the stock. Keep going till you have enough in your stock and make sure that your hands are kept wet in between. In a few minutes, turn the meatballs over. Once they're semi-cooked, I'm just going to remove these and leave them aside. I'm now going to finish the rest of the meatballs. These are all now done. What started off as veggie stock is now infused with the flavor of beef. I usually just strain this a few times to remove the scum and instead of throwing it out, I use it in curries instead of water. Be sure to mark the meatballs with the date of preparation. It's good for a few months, although mine typically never last that long. Bag these in a freezer safe bag and store them in your freezer. Now you can use these in so many different ways. Sometimes I like to throw them into a stir fry. I like to simmer them in some soup or toss them in sauce for spaghetti and meatballs. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this very simple technique for making meatballs. I've shown you a really generic recipe, but you can make the meatballs any way you like and have this in your freezer on hand to make dishes anytime you want. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, guys. I upload new videos every week, so make sure that you're subscribed, share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. Also, make sure to ring the bell. That's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. 
and also make sure to follow me on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Until I see you next time, take care guys, bye.